Hi everyone, before this video begins, I just want to let you guys know that tomorrow, the 26th of June at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Central European Standard Time, the main Parabellum EU4 tournament starts. And for our first matchup, we have the Clash of the Titans, Flory Wari versus Zlewek. For our second duel, we got Habibi versus Corbett. And for our third duel, we have Kara versus the Student. Link in the description and in the pinned comment, and you can watch on YouTube and on Twitch. You know that me, Leith, and Mitch have been working on this for quite a while and now the main tournament starts qualifiers are over so it's up to you to tune in thank you let's move on with the video oh dude dude what the actual frick hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the a to z challenge the challenge where we play every nation in u4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order of course and this week ladies and gentlemen we're back with a nation that i've been very excited to play as the nation of the Rasids. the Rasids are a nation located in the south of the arabian peninsula right here and uh, even though you might think that their start is pretty difficult which uh, let's be real it is don't get me wrong they have one of the best militarily focused uh national idea groups in the game and this is for real for real we start off with plus 20 percent national manpower and plus 10 percent infantry combat ability finishing off with plus 20 percent fort defense so three mil related ones all right there at the start well actually one at the end but you get my point then we have plus 10 percent morale of armies plus 10 percent goods produced which is absolutely awesome uh plus 10 percent global trade power a government thingy plus oh sorry minus 15 percent shock damage received plus one land leader shock and plus 10 percent trade efficiency so really really strong mill related ones really really strong uh economy related ones we start off as shia with this 314 guy right here and uh yeah man you know starting off your expansion in this region not that hard it is pretty easy to beat some of these guys around you but what happens after that when the big boys the mamluks come down from the north and you gotta go somewhere man you really gotta go somewhere but what do we do as the Rasids? Well, the most liked comment on the previous Ragusa video said, The Rasids were a prominent Yemeni power who followed the Zayidi school of Islam. Zayid ibn Ali was considered to be the fifth Imam by some Shias and is most notable for his rebellion against the Umayyad Caliph Hisham ibn Abad al Malik. So, in order to commemorate this, you must own all the cores of Granada as your own or have them as a vassal, as they are the last vestiges of the Umayyad Caliphate. And I really, really like this suggestion right here. So, challenge pretty simple. Let's own all four provinces that Granada starts off with or have them as a vassal. Either way, we gotta get these four in our possession somehow. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I should have done something else. Let's jump in as the Rasids. All right, all right. Here we are as the Rasids. We are in Shia provinces. I was considering flipping to Sunni here just to get some better alliances, but let's not do that. We also got this Pretender stack. Uh, not walking towards us, but, you know, we'll beat it up soon enough. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, enforce religious unity, I guess. Go ahead and do the estate setup, see what allies we can get. And my plan right now is, honestly, just go like this just get like this to granada i really don't know what else we could do yeah there's no other way there's no other way all right let me start the setup all right i stay stuff done i also gave the ulam um, expansion a zealotry because well we are gonna fight a lot of zealots so we can't seize yet because of the rebels right here but uh, i'm not actually gonna set any rivals just yet we are by the way on the feudal theocracy and imamit right here which actually is pretty powerful uh, we don't need any of these right now. Obviously not making money, but I am going to get a... Yes, yeah, a morale guy. Exactly what I was looking for. Uh, do we have any potential alliances here? No. So in that case, I'm going to start off improving with the Ottomans right away. And actually, I am going to link with Mafra, man. We could use their help. Just one guy in the Gulf of Aden. Can another guy go anywhere else? I don't think so. Uh, actually, yeah. Well, let's collect in Ethiopia while we're here. All right, let me give my ruler mill command of this army just like that. Actually, really good. Uh, do we have missions? Oh, we do have unique missions, man. Yo, this is sick. All right, we just need a general, I guess. We gain a bunch of perma claims and triple manpower increase in l religious wars. How do we do religious wars? We can't, I guess, yet. Or maybe if we do like that. I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead and take it. Perma claims on a bunch of stuff around us. And we have a core in Aden. All right. I'll check out the missions pretty soon. I just want to get the free company up so we can beat up these pretenders. Now, while we're here, I still haven't beaten these guys up. I'm going to declare a Nadron immediately just so, you know, we can get that done while they still don't have any allies. 
and war with Nadron is done. We can just nab that province. And there we go. We've already expanded a little bit. Now, I think there was a mission for Nadron. Is it this one? Yeah, but for this, we need to take down Mikal as well, who's allied to Dongola. Easy, easy. Let me just chill a bit. All right, let's get a move on. We need to get as big as possible, as fast as possible. Okay, so we've beaten up Mikolf and they'll finally accept being vassalized, which is something I want to do because Yemen declared on them as well. And like this, I can fight Yemen without fighting Adran. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Can I take this, which I need for this mission? Um, yeah, so I'm going to take that and make the rest of them in Bishaw right here, my vassal. And like that, we're in a defensive war with Yemen. Excellent. Let's go ahead and call in Makra right here. Just like that. Uh, I'm going to core it up later. I can take... Well, actually, maybe I can take this mission and then give it back to the... Uh, give it back to Mikal, right? Yeah, I can do that. Perfect. All right, I am... Uh, am I a Miltek ahead? Oh, yes, I am. All right, I'm done with Yemen too, but look at this sitch. They just got declared on by Aden, who's allied to Mahra, my ally, and Adal. Adal is way more annoying than Adron, by the way, so... <laughs> I think we're gonna do the same. <laughs> There we go, another defensive war, uh, this time versus Aden. Let's call in Mahra again. Uh, I'm not a Miltek over these guys, but I need to be careful. I think I got way more morale than them, though, right? Oh, easy. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Like this, we're getting our core back from Aden as well. Even though it's not a reconquest, we'll still do it. Excellent. Okay, so now what I want to do is actually uh, give, uh, what you call it, Jazan back to Mikolf right here. There we go. That should make them a little happier. I can go ahead and uh, maybe placate them twice. Now they're loyal. Now it's just time to improve relations with these guys. Obviously, I'm not going to go bankrupt. Loans are bigger now. And uh, yeah, time to get these guys loyal. We do already border the Mamluks, which is kind of annoying. I don't know if we can try and fight maybe Dawas here, here, even though we don't really need to go that way. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go this way. Uh, Hadramut, then enter the horn. We'll see. All right, I've restructured the loan situation a bit. We're still losing money now, obviously, but we're uh, we're good. I have allied Ethiopia as well. Yeah, Makro wants to break their alliance with me. Whatever. Now, we also got some other missions right here. Curb the Tahirids. I guess that was Aden. For that, we gained perma claims on... Uh, well, further up here, admin points, trade efficiency. Sure, I'll take it. And then we got the Dawa right here, which gives us morale damage for 15 years, 5 army professionalism, legalism, sure. Excellent. I'm liking these missions a lot, man. All right, money situation is now okay. We're not losing money. It is also time to develop the Renaissance. Now, it's going to be super painful here because my capital is a mountain and everything is mountains and deserts. However, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve. So now our capital, Sana'a, is at 65. If we go ahead and activate and encourage development, it's at 60. If we go ahead and invite minorities from abroad, uh, we lose 50 Diplo points and gain one tax point in our capital. However, now it's at 51, even cheaper. Uh, so now we can do this. Now it's at 54. And if I go ahead and uh, expand infrastructure, it's at 47. So that's a pretty big decrease right there. We also got the city of Sana'a right here. Uh, level 2, mercantilism stuff. Uh, we need to do certain missions to buff it up even more. Okay, I'll take a look at that. But yeah, for now it's... Uh, it's renaissance deving time. Yeah. Here comes the rain. Tier 2 gov reform time. Let's get even more manpower. Strengthenable privileges. Now look at this man. Ethiopia, all, my ally by the way, almost completely wiped out a doll. But my subject Yemen has a claim on the remaining province. They're allyless and Ethiopia will let me cross. I think we go ahead and declare on a doll right here. Vassalize them as well and then maybe just get as many provinces back from ethiopia as possible using favors with that we'll have a landing pad in the horn of africa as well and we could potentially fight like agadin or sangali maharan ajran so let's go ahead and declare on a doll here all uh, right i need mill access right it's still not possible for me to cross <laughs> so i finally crossed after three freaking years all i had to do was engage with a boat in yemen to pop out its navy Okay, war is done. Let's go ahead and make uh, these guys are vassal and hopefully get something back from Ethiopia. Now, with three subjects, these guys could get a little rowdy. I did manage to get these guys loyal. Um, can't placate these guys yet. Okay. Wait, I'm in a defensive war again. <laughs> now with Agadine. This one wasn't on purpose. Um, okay, let's get this core for Adal. I'll take the rest. Okay, ruler just died, but this is great because Agadine's allied to Ethiopia. So otherwise we couldn't have fought them. And we're done here. I think that's going to be a full annex. Yes, it is. 
All right, first idea group time. Obviously, we want to lean into the whole mill thing even more and money-making thing later on down the line. Right now, I'm thinking quality, defensive, or offensive. One of these, all of them would mesh really well. We could get even more general things with... Um, offensive more defensive things with defensive even even more morale too the attrition for enemies is great with uh in all these deserts quality is great too for combat ability but you know what i'm feeling man i'm feeling i think i'm feeling let's see hmm yeah we just got so much morale modifiers i gotta lean into that even more just secured a real marriage with the ottomans you know what it is there's the alliance as what's up given out the integration policy to the emirs let's annex mikal had enough favors with ethiopia to request these three provinces back for a doll which is dope all right good morning another day another province it's a different day for me continuing this uh raw seed playthrough where were we what was i planning to do here so we gotta wipe out hadramut and then i guess push into some of these guys down here huh yeah i'm no way we're not strong enough to face the mamluks or ethiopia now I kind of want to take out Makra and Hormuz before the Mamluks get to them. Yeah, alliance with the Ottomans is all good. We're still so far away, dude. We're we're literally moving further away rather than going closer to um Granada, which still exists, by the way. Hmm. Would Castile dare declare on these guys? Yeah, they would. They would declare on this Granada. Oh, okay. Shoot. This is not good. See, in previous runs where I've played over here or over here in A to Z and releasables, uh, whenever the Ottomans call us into this, it never works out for us, man. The AI always goes for the weakest target. Uh, it's just gonna be me and the Ottomans. I'm the weakest target. Let's see, 38k. That's not that bad. Ottomans got 35k. They'll scale up both of these guys rapidly with mercs and stuff. I don't have any claims on the Mamluks, so I probably won't be getting things, and I really don't want to take like mecca for example or medina here the ottomans are going to be super salty i actually wasn't planning to take anything here from the mamluks i just wanted to go like this rather rather than uh, like this i gotta accept i gotta accept here that's just the truth okay at least we have pretty good fort defense i'll activate fort defense here too um shoot they can get to my capital from here huh yeah they can i'll activate defensive here and we already got a fort defense guy actually that's really good fort defense right there in nadron Maybe we can hold them off till the Ottomans get here. We're doing okay here. Uh, they were sieging me down in Nadron, but the Ottomans came and beat them up. I think we're in a pretty good position. The Ottomans got Cairo as well. Tier 3 gov reform time. Um, we are playing with subjects here. I think we will continue to... Uh, not that there's anyone to release and reconquer here or anything like that. Yeah, You know, I'm tempted to go with, uh, what you call it, representatives of the crown, man, to make my boys stronger. I will go with that. It's done? That quick? What happened? Okay, Mamluk seeds a bunch of stuff to the Ottomans. Uh, they give a core back to Hassa and then just some money. Okay, so I didn't get land, which is... Okay, it's it's really no big deal. But I really got to keep an eye out on this truce here. We got to be the ones to declare. I think I'll declare for stuff here. Yeah, let's see the Ottomans, provinces of desire again. Yeah, we sort of got to dodge what the Ottomans want really strongly. Like, go like this. Yeah, truce is up in, let's see, 15 years. Okay, so that's when we're going to have to fight the Mamluks. Another province back to Adal, and their land is finally connected. Got three more cores right here, but these are the most expensive ones. I don't know if we'll manage to get them back, honestly. Nope, no we won't. <laughs> I mean, I got some provinces for free, dude, shoot. And we can easily beat, the, beat Ethiopia, so yeah, it's no big deal. All right, when our truce with them is up in five years... We're gonna get some gold mines. All right, so my truce with Ethiopia is up. Uh, well, I was a Meltic ahead, but either way, my morale is superior. They got no forts. This should be pretty easy and no allies either. So let's do a reconquest for Harer right here. It is uh, the most expensive province. And there's our decoration. I even got the free company up. I am over force limit, but since we're gonna have gold mines after this, I really don't care about how much we go into debt right now, since it's gonna be easily fixed pretty soon. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we're pretty much done with Ethiopia here, even though I don't have their capital siege down. Now, ah, dude, I actually gotta beat these guys up. All right, now the war is over. That took way longer than it needed to, honestly, but it got convoluted with the whole thing. I, I did end up having to siege their fort. It gave me the forts and the area modifier that I can't take it, and rebels down here and whatnot but yeah okay these cores go back to adal and i want to take the gold mines which are damat and kafa right here so we can do this okay we're taking this from ethiopia let's just take this too no one cares because they're coptic obviously and i'll take a bunch of stuff from medibari as well just so we can gain a border with the mamluks um i'm really satisfied with that boom there we go excellent Second idea group time as well. We really got to get our money up. Uh, since we have gold, it's a no-brainer that we're going economic. 
And I don't know if I showed you guys, but I've been stuck with this 116 guy for quite a while here. All right, so I was able to take this mission right here since I just built a church, but I also just allied a Shia country, Luristan, right here. Obviously, I'm going to break that alliance soon just to gain some extra dev in our capital. So, ah, that's some nice dev right there. And the church got upgraded to a great mosque. Oh, uh, sorry, the, the, the mosque got upgraded to a great mosque. All right, truce with the Mamluks is up, but the Ottomans don't want to fight right now because they're fighting who trebizond and georgia we gotta keep an eye out on that okay ottomans just ended their war mamluks aren't really weak at all ottomans are looking pretty strong but we gotta declare here because we don't want the ottomans declaring so i'm just gonna declare for suakin right here this little province we're aiming to go like this um calling the ottomans yeah dude i gotta tech over them with a defensive filled out <laughs> they only got admin these guys were cooked even if i didn't call in the ottomans Okay, we're done. That was really easy. That was super, super easy. I could have definitely done that myself. So, uh, let's see what the Ottomans are interested in once again. So, yeah, I gotta avoid stuff right there. Okay, so let's just go like, um, this? How much AE is that? That's not that bad, actually. I wonder if I can make it all the way till the end. Yes, I can. Who owns Benghazi? How did Tunis get to own that? Was Tunis in the little war that we had with the Mamluks earlier? Yeah, I'm literally just gonna snake all the way to Tunis, man. And let's get war reps too. We are probably gonna fight these guys again to take out some more provinces here that the Ottomans aren't interested in. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's about enough. Okay, I gotta create favors with the Ottomans here. Well, actually, I have a ton of favors with them. Wow. Oh, uh, I was gonna say to make them break their alliance with Tunis. Can we take them and Morocco down? Yeah, after a little bit of building up, after diving the gold mines, maybe a war with Ethiopia again. We definitely can. I'm actually liking this position a lot. Castile has taken Granada now. Uh, oh. It was so easy. But now it's not. Okay. A positive thing. They're not going to get Aragon. <laughs> They're not going to get Aragon. But still, man. Oh, my God. How did they get here so early? And who's this? The Knights are in Athens? Let's go Knights. All right, both gold mines have been developed up to 10. Finally, man, we're making a little bit of serious money. So many loans to pay off, too. Okay, annexed Yemen. Now, this is the Rasids, right? Um, it's, I mean, this is the Rasids. Obviously, it's the Rasids, but it's A to Z. I can form other guys. Let me take a look at Yemen stuff, man. But nah, honestly, man, I've been waiting so long to play the Rasids. I want to get the full experience right here. There we go. There's the heart of Yemen. Lose separatism. 50 diplo points. Dev points. That's very nice. Now, okay, I don't need to form Yemen for this mission. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm staying with the full experience here. I'm going to try and do this mission tree, too. I don't think we're going to. But yeah, I'm going to strengthen the Ulama here. Building a bunch of buildings now with the fact that I can take bigger loans. There's a city of monarchs as well. Some nice things happen with the uh, Taiz. All right, so I started annexing Adal too. We got to get a move on here to conquer Hadramut since it's pretty important for a certain mission uh, to become a kingdom. I got to do it. So uh, yeah, let's do it. And we're pretty much done here. There's Hajramut full annexed. All right, dope. Now we can take this mission, unite Yemen, stab perma claims. We become a kingdom, uh, monthly splendor, CCR until the end of Age of Discovery. Hmm. I guess it sort of wants you to do this super early. I'm not a fan of that. Age of Discovery is about to end. Whatever. Huh. Wait, what happened? All right, they declare on Cyprus. Hamburg is defender of the Catholic faith. Man, looks around this, Jesus. You guys have no idea how much rebels I'm dealing with this campaign, man. Not something I showed off, but it's constant. Adal has been full annexation. Uh, nice. Oh, I just made them break their alliance with Tunis too, man. I just made them do it. All right, frick it, bro. I'm running out of patience here. There's my deck on Tunis. Oh my god, it's finally done. It, it took so long, man. All of these wars are extremely long, dude. Um, Yeah, let's just try and get to Morocco as fast as possible. I'll do that, and then I'll just keep taking stuff. Oops, oh, what did I do here? Yeah, let's do this. Oh wait, I actually want to make them break their alliance with Morocco. Um, Let's do that. Sure. We're not nowhere near powerful enough to fight these guys, man. I don't think we're going to be able to do this, man. It might be two failures in a row. We haven't had that in years. Oh, my God. Guess who I'm helping again? <laughs> I hate you. And you know, uh, 
you guys notice me mauling in certain videos and being angry and stuff like that and obviously there's a lot of new fans watching that aren't familiar with the pain that is a to z and uh y'all are like i can't i don't like this why do you play the game if you hate it i don't hate it anyway let's do even more defensive stuff well there you have it <laughs> uh i'm gonna pop off my golden arrow since the age of discovery is about to end these rebels that are popping up they may not break my country man but they're sure as hell about to break me yo it's so tedious man it's so annoying uh i focused on the economy when really that should have been religious or humanist okay now we gotta go with one of those i'm going humanist man i can't i don't like humanist but i gotta oh dude dude what the actual frick so earlier i did notice that castile had a bunch of problems with rebels all the way up here and down here it had granada and separatists but yo this is a sign man this is unbelievable luck granada popping out via separatists right castile i don't think they lost a war let's see history of the province occupied by castile annexed by castile abandoned the faith, became catholic became a core castile um where is it occupied by rebels granada and separatists unoccupied occupied by rebels again on it stayed four years under occupation where's castile's armies man they gotta be in the new world doing stuff they got 46k and they did beat up or maybe even accept the demands of these rebels up here i don't know what those guys were this is just streamer luck man this is just streamer luck right here thanks by granada liberated 1525 how did i not notice it for like four years now yeah this one's been for four years too this one yeah 1525 as well and then this last one yeah it's all 1525 i gotta go back and look at my previous clips yeah look at this it's 1527 right here um and they're already there see there's still remnants of some other guys right here that's a that's a nice face <laughs> how did i not notice this i'm stupid i was right here too look the previous clip too 1526 when i'm uh, popping off the golden era there they are and they still have occupations up here dude okay so the game plan is now castile still has a truce with them so they're not gonna redeclare they do have cores on there i think they're gonna take them back right away i'm just i'm, I'm just feeling so blessed right now. you guys have no idea um i'm i'm gonna um shoot castile will give me access but morocco won't now what happened here why is that my core was it ever my <laughs> Yeah, it was. I, <laughs> I lost it to Rebel. This campaign is so stupid, man. But this is the luckiest thing that's happened to me probably in my 10 years of playing U4, man. Frick it, we're almost done. I'm not caring about anything here. Let's get the Grand Company up so it can maybe deal with Rebels. That's it. I got a claim and I'm declaring. I got five transports up. There's a... a, a what? Okay, there we go. We did that. Um, No. No, wait. What? No, 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 no. No, it's all good. It's all good. I don't care about this because we probably have 50 favors with the Ottomans. Yes, we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. Break Alliance Granada. Yes, they will accept. There we go. The diplomat is back. The diplomat is back. I got my ass beat, but that's okay because Morocco and Castile have given me mill access. Shoot. They just got declared by Castile. Frick. I made it. I made it. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it that this happened. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me in the history of playing U4, man. It, it was destiny for us to complete this challenge. And now we have. I'm still amazed. Frick it. I'm not playing a, a second any longer of this campaign because these rebels are going to drive me crazy. But yeah, there you go, man. We start off as the Recedes in these three provinces right here. The Recedes start is obviously pretty difficult right here. I mean, you know, it's easy to beat up some of these small guys around you and maybe push into here. But after that, you're going to have trouble with some big guys. But uh, luckily, we did manage to secure an alliance with the Ottomans, man. Beat up these guys over here. Pushed into the Horn. Beat up Ethiopia. Got the gold mines. Snaked through the Mamluk. Snaked through Tunis. Fought trillions of rebels this entire campaign. And, you know, I was just gearing up to fight Morocco here. Uh, and in order to take provinces, in order to get up to Ceuta, right? So we can then fight Castile. Uh, honestly, man, I was just going to declare on Castile hope for the best and if we lost we lost and i was ready to end this video because uh we would have to play so much longer in order to uh grow powerful enough to be able to face all of these guys by ourselves and not to mention the navies man uh it would have been impossible for us to cross here and very very difficult without the ottomans help which uh yeah they're not really interested in doing so yeah that's what i was getting ready to do then i noticed granada over here i could have noticed them like four years earlier but i 
I just I just wasn't paying attention to that region, man. Why focus on here when I already knew what was going on? But at a certain point, man, as you saw in those previous clips that I showed you, uh, Castile was having a lot of rebel trouble up here and down here. I did notice the Granada and Separatist, but I didn't feel it was worth commenting. What <laughs> I didn't expect anything like this to happen. So yeah, it did happen. Granada broke free. I, I still can't believe that it happened, man. This was... Uh, it's such luck, man. Such luck. It's almost unbelievable right here, man. But, yeah. There we go. Caught Granada without any allies. I mean, they were allied to the Ottomans. But luckily, favors were there, baby. Favors were there. Made them break their alliance. And now we got the necessary provinces. And uh, this very, very annoying goal that I... <laughs> I thought I was going to be a failure. Is, is done. So, yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm very, very, very happy to say that this campaign as the recedes in EU4, uh, sorry, in A to Z, has been a success. And that has been the recedes in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do as this nation next week. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.